Did you know that there's more Merlot planted in Bordeaux than there is Cabernet Sauvignon? Merlot has taken off very well in California since the mid-70s when people who were drinking Cabernet wanted something that was a little bit softer, a little bit suppler, a little bit silkier. Merlot is known for its plushness and its ability to share the similar flavor profile that Cabernet does, but in a much uh, easier and approachable package. Merlot's been through some ups and downs. When Merlot became first popular, like any other grape, it was planted everywhere, regardless of whether it would do well or not. Subsequently, there was a lot of bad Merlot that came out when Merlot was becoming popular. But like anything else that has been a product of natural selection, the best survived. And today's Merlots are better than they've ever been. The value for the money is probably better than any other grape in the state. What one should expect in a glass of Merlot like I have here are very much a similar profile of flavors that you would expect with Cabernet Sauvignon. That's say a lot of dark fruit flavors, cassis, blackberries, you would find uh, currants, you would find tobacco leaf, you would find uh, sweeter and savory herbs to it. What you're not gonna find is any of the astringency. What you're not gonna find is any of the really harsh tannin. So when I'm smelling this wine here, I'm getting exactly all that. This particular example of Merlot happens to come from Duckhorn Vineyards. Duckhorn is a winery that was established in the 1970s that is particularly well known for this variety. Blueberries, blackberries, licorice, a little bit of tea leaf, and a very soft middle palate. The wine has wonderful structure and an ability to not only stand on its own with food, but age quite well, but do so in a much gentler way than Cabernet Sauvignon.